Hey Buns, so listen, lately I've heard a lot of y'all say things like, I'm not good enough for Savage, or Ultimates are way beyond me, I could never do something like that, or I'm really scared if a little girl is gonna beat me up in the extreme trial. All of that will remain true as long as you keep standing in your own way and you keep making arguments in favor of your own perceived flaws and shortcomings, rather than focusing on what you're already doing right and what you can do better. And look, I already, I know there are plenty of people who are happy just doing casual stuff and hanging out in G-pose. And honestly, G-pose is its own skill. So I'm not talking to those people today. Uh, like G-pose, role play, fan fiction. There's plenty of other ways to enjoy the world of Palm Super Teen that involve their own skills. That's not what I'm talking about here today. I just want to be clear today. I'm focusing on actually improving your skill at the game, like the job performance and hard battle content, improving as a player, doing more damage, doing more healing, being more of an effective player. And uh, people often think about these things that feel intimidating, these types of content that seem sort of pie in the sky for them. That's how they perceive it. I did when I started, you know, I was terrified getting my first extreme trial and think of those things and they're like, well, why bother? You know, if I can just, there's plenty of good stuff to do in the game that doesn't require perfect play and isn't as punishing and I can still just kind of toot around <laughs> and I honestly thank the 12 that not all the content in 14 is brutal and ridiculously hard because that would be suffocating if the game was such that there was nothing chill to do to you know, relax in. But with the ultimate race going on this week and this particular one being so crazy and captivating to watch. I've been casting it for Mog Talk uh, a couple of days this week. This has stirred up a lot of interest in hard content for people that had otherwise never considered it. But now I see people considering it and then immediately stopping themselves from getting on the path that would actually take you there by saying that they feel in inadequate or unmotivated or unconfident. Or, it's just so far beyond me. It's impossible. You know, even as they dream about what it would be like to be in a group that manages to save redacted, you know, save our boy to have that chance to personally go back and see things go down differently. Like that is a very appealing prospect that has piqued a lot of people's interests and understandably so. But I think a lot of people have this misconception that like either you're a casual or you're not like, or you just wake up one day and you are suddenly super, super good. Like the fairy godmother of ratings just shows up and blesses you with the best in slot gear. But um, actually that is kind of what kind of what she did for Cinderella now that you think about it. She got a she got a mega upgrade in her gear like overnight. But uh, that's usually not how it happens. Okay. It's, normally it is a really boring day-to-day -day grind and that's going to be true of any skill. Like any kind of self-improvement in this world we love to glamorize the pinnacle of achievement. Like we love to glamorize the ultimate or the savage rating. But what we don't glamorize is the long road that it took to get there. And that is a road that you can step on yourself at any time. It's not, it's just an ordinary path of slow, incremental improvement, the day-to-day, -day, the fighting dummy, the wiping on the trials, the normal, and very unintimidating, unimpressive failures that you've had, as well as all the little victories that have kept your engine running along that path and all the lovely people that you meet along the way when you decide to pursue that path of self-improvement. So today, I just kind of wanted to make a case for why it's worth it and why it is fun and why the path towards becoming a better player is for me the path that I have found the most fulfilling in this game. Like this is the path upon which I have found lifelong friends. And I just want to see if I can try to convince you to step on the path uh, with me today, just to give you some reasons why it's worth the effort. So obviously bragging rights, like success is its own reward and all that, but I swear after I start seeing people who have cleared the Dragon Song Ultimate walking around with their weapons and their titles, like, I am just gonna like slash grovel <laughs> when I see them because these are literal god gamers. Like I, this ultimate especially, I think it has raised the bar of prestige. Like we've never seen anything this hard. And uh, something like this requires just insane precision, perfect play. And yeah, it might take a long time to clear an ultimate 
any ultimate if you're starting from scratch, if you've never worked on improving yourself before, but nothing worth doing is easy. And if it was easy, it wouldn't be as prestigious. If it was easy, it wouldn't feel as good to get it done. And it is absolutely something that you can work towards. I would not recommend that you start with this. Please do not start with this one. <laughs> Because it's nasty. Oh, it's nasty. But let me look. Even Savage Clears, like the Savage Mount from the last floor of a Savage Tier, it's pretty impressive whenever this, uh, whenever the tier is still current and not like an old tier. You can just unsync and easily farm, you know. But this titles, weapons, and mounts from the hard content in Final Fantasy XIV, this is the flashiest, coolest looking stuff in the game. And it's about glory. It's about earning your place in the halls of Stovocor, I guess. Another thing is that the better you are, the more stuff you can actually do in the game. Uh, usually I recommend that people start with extreme trials and do them in the order in which they were released throughout the course of an expansion. You can also try the first savage floor of a tier that's usually not too bad and it will build your confidence. It will like help you unlock the other savage tiers. You see more and more things start to open up to you. Ultimate, you unlock after clearing savage. So, um, it will, it's a natural progression for you to do that. It will teach you about how rating works. It will teach you about rating mechanics and what you need to do to meet things like DPS checks, like basic concepts like that. And uh, you have to do it. Like you just have to actually get in there and do it. And people uh, are naturally a bit resistant to that at times because it's scary. I understand overthinking it and just feeling like, oh, well, this can go wrong or that can go wrong and I don't know what to do. But when you're worrying about that, you're literally doing nothing. You're actually just sitting there stagnating, doing nothing. And um, you're not going anywhere. You're not growing. You're not learning. It's better just throw yourself at the problem because the fact is that's what rating mostly is. That's what hard content 99% of the time is you just throwing yourself at the problem and learning. And uh, you will get more and more comfortable with that. The thing is that I can actually sit here all day long and tell you You've got what it takes. You can handle more than you think. You have more potential than you think. And I do believe that for every single person can do this, but that is not going to work. Like not for the long term. The, the, if the problem is a lack of confidence, the only thing that will help you is actual experience in these fights and, uh, you know, working on your rotation, learning these basic concepts. You have to put in the effort, but it's not... Like it's fun. It's enjoyable. It's worth it. And it will boost your confidence a lot. And I'm telling you, when you clear these extreme trials for the first time, you're going to feel amazing. And you're going to say, I can handle this. And I can do the next one and the next one and the next one. I can do Savage next. The process itself is really fun because as you get better at a job, it will feel less and less like random button mashing. And it's going to feel more like playing a piano. The more you feel like the flow to your job, it all starts to become second nature. And for me, that's an experience that I never got in World of Warcraft, which is the game I was really hooked on before I found Final Fantasy XIV. Once you get a feel for your job's rotation, the point in which you can get in the flow of it, and it's just muscle memory, you'll see how beautifully and how elegantly that layers in to the boss encounter. Though granted, I'm usually layered into the floor. <laughs> and in that process of getting better and trying harder content, like maybe even joining a static, you will inevitably make new friends because there's just something about facing extreme challenges, fighting a horrible monster, <laughs> like going through a rough experience with other people that is a bonding as just human nature will naturally bond y'all together. Look at Harry, Ron, and Hermione with the troll, or look at Han, Luke, and Leia with getting out of the Death Star, or look at Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli in the War of the Ring, and everybody else in the Fellowship also, okay? Maybe you're not gonna be best friends with every single person, but you'll probably make a couple of friends, is what I'm saying. Just don't be a Boromir with a loot, okay? And finally, if you happen to be a thrill-seeking type of person, if you are... <laughs> like me, unfortunately cursed with a brain that constantly seeks excitement and dopamine. Well, this can be a healthy outlet for you. The rating can keep the kids off the streets. And because actually it's a pretty good and addictive high that's much cheaper and healthier than other ways. I mean, there's really nothing like the rush of clearing a boss that you've been working on for a long time or even clearing a phase, getting past some important threshold in the fight. It can be incredibly exciting. And uh, when you finally see that boss go down, ah, oh, so good. And you hear everybody screaming in the comms. It's just this moment of joy and rapture that you, you will get addicted to it. You're like, okay, well, when's the next boss? Because I got to experience that again. That was incredible. That will propel you forward on your journey. It will keep you going, keep that engine running uh, down the path. So like I said before, progress is gradual, but it is also not 
linear, friends. You will screw up, you will make a fool of yourself, and you will die. But as long as you don't give up, as long as you don't stagnate, as long as you don't have a little pity party, and you do look critically at your own mistakes first before pointing fingers, you just try to do a little bit better than you did before. Ask yourself, what did I do wrong? What could I have done better there? Then you're going to be well on your way to becoming a player that anybody would love to have on their team. A player that when you join the group, people are like, nice. There's that giga Chad joining our group. Like what a relief because here's somebody who cares and who does their best and who will we can count on them to at least try and to give their best effort here today. So that's that alone is a great achievement. I have made some other videos about how to actually dip your toes into hard content that goes more into detail of like, well, how do I find a static? And how do I check to see if my damage is good? And how do I do this? And that? What's my biz? Like all these basic questions I have covered in other videos. So I didn't want to get bogged down too much in that today. I'll just link to that below. I really just wanted to talk more about why it's important, why the path is so cool and fun and so rewarding and why, uh, the effort is absolutely worth it. I said it earlier, but it's, it bears repeating. Nothing worth doing is easy. And that's something that uh, I try to remember all the time in uh, many different areas of life. Buns, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free just by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.